describe how do you bridge the gap from fiscal conservatives to social conservatives to the and one of those things. And give me your take on the Republican Party right now. You seem to be indicating that uh, Obama's re-energizing conservatives. There's no way I'm going to go. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that your pen? Thank you. God bless you. Thanks you. Uh, you know, well, the, the Republican Party is a con is a conservative party. You know, and so the, the party needs to be about addition, not subtraction, but at the core, the party's conservative. It mostly has been, and, and I think it will be even more so in the future. So there's a great uh, positive reaction to that now in the country, uh, but we, can't, we have to not only just be uh, highlighting the mm -hmm. disappointments with President Obama and the Democratic-controlled Congress, we also have to be offering up our own solutions about how we would make it better. So we have to do both. What do you say to somebody who argues he campaigned for the better part of two years on overhauling the nation's health care system and did what he said he was going to do? I would say the exact opposite. He stood here in Iowa on the night he won the Iowa caucuses and said that he was going to reform health care and he promised that he was going to do it on a bipartisan basis with Democrats and Republicans and he then went out to Washington DC and crammed down our throats one of the worst pieces of legislation in the modern history of the country on a completely partisan basis and uh, he didn't live up to his promise. Governor, how do we how do we go back? How do, how do we undo some of the stuff uh, that Obama has passed? Well, it's going to be hard work, but uh, one of the best ways we can do it is to get uh, conservatives elected in November, retake control of the Congress, and then get about the business of reforming health care uh, in a true and effective sense, and it needs it. I mean, the, the health care system in this country is broken, but one of the main problems with the health care system is the costs, and we need to have a market-oriented solution to try to bring down costs and to give people more choices, not a, a solution that brings everything into Washington, D.C. I mean, the, Federal government is out of control. I mean, they're taking over banks, they're taking over the student loan industry, they're taking over the mortgage industry, they're taking over the car companies. They want to take over the energy industry, they want to take over the health care industry. And uh, I and a lot of other conservatives just had enough. And the answer doesn't reside in pushing everything into Washington, D.C. and making it all a big bureaucracy. The answer resides in putting individuals in charge. And to the extent we can afford it, uh, giving them some financial assistance, but do it in a marketplace, let them function in a marketplace, not have big bureaucracy. So there's a lot under the hood of all that, but that's the general direction. I mean, they view the world as a big General Motors 1970s bureaucracy, one-size-fits-all standard approaches to public policy solutions. We view the world as Apple 2011 and iPhones, where individuals have information on their fingertips. Uh, they make the decisions when and how they want, what and what's best for them and their family. Uh, so it's really a a General Motors 1970s versus Apple 2010 uh, metaphor. Thank you. Governor, is it practical to believe that we can just uh, repeal the bill that was passed this year, or do we need to look more carefully at trying to make changes uh, to the law? Well, I think the bill is so bad in so many ways that it would be better to start over. Uh, but it needs to be reformed at a minimum, dramatically reformed at a minimum, but it might even be better to start over. Any ideas how you're going to start it over? Like what you're going to, what you're going to, what you might or may Yeah, you know, for, for example, there, there's uh, a lot that we can do and should do, but uh, unfortunately, President Obama missed an opportunity to do this together with conservatives and Republicans. There's a lot of stuff they could have agreed on if he would have set aside the things that he, that were most polarizing and most partisan and lived up to the promise he made in Iowa on caucus night we would have had a uh, bipartisan solution and a better bill. But Minnesota, for example, is the highest concentration or use of health savings accounts in the country. For those who use them, choose to use them, they work and save some money. Uh, we, we have a number of reforms around trending, like I mentioned in the speech, uh, getting people information about price and quality, let them decide it with their health care. If they need financial assistance, give it to them if they can't afford it, but let them decide. Uh, so those are the directions that we need to head.